everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I would like to show you how you can create this and what you should use uh, for creating my spring or Easter cutting plate. I did use book pages and it's very easy to make. What you will need are book pages from one book or similar sized books and start to glue them together. Use glue stick because uh, it doesn't wrinkle your paper. Make sure you will apply the glue on all the book page. Everywhere. Then take another book page and place it on first one. Match the sides and press. For pressing the book pages together, you can use brayer and with brayer press the book pages or just with your hand and make sure you are pressing them together nicely and glue together as many book, book pages as you want to make thickness of your cutting plate the way you would like to have. I do have here about half centimeter thickness and it was... I think 80 book pages. <laughs> now I'm not sure. I think 80 book pages I did use, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. And again, make sure you do have glue everywhere. That will eliminate the bubbles in your plate. And again, take another one, place it on that previous one, match the sides and press. And continue till you till you have the thickness you want. So once you glue the last page you wanna add in there, take something heavy, place it over your book pages and let it sit uh, for about two hours. So my book board it's already dry. It's quite uh, strong. I'm going to take sanding paper and I'm going to sand all the edges to make them straight and evenly finished. And I'm going to also sand the ends. The, these corners so in the end this will look more uh, like a wood now I noticed that my corners of that book are not that uh, strongly, glue, strongly glued so I'm gonna take a brush and PVA glue I do have here just left over of PVA glue so I'm gonna take that and with this PVA glue, I'm going to glue the corners together. So I'm going to apply the glue all around. And I'm going to let this dry. And now it comes about this... Uh, these images I'm gonna rip off one I did print it out uh, both of these images on a normal I think it's 80 GSM printer paper just the cheapest one I found in my stuff the lightest kind of ish and I'm gonna rip this paper around and I'm gonna take that PVA glue Put the PVA glue on my beautiful image. And I'm gonna make sure that I do have glue on all that image everywhere.
Now I can place it on my book page plate. And I'm gonna take my brayer and I'm gonna go over it over my image so that way I know I will spread the glue evenly and now it needs to dry I will let it dry to very next day so it's very next day uh, our plate is this is dry totally so now I'm gonna use water and I'm gonna water the top paper let it soak the water and I will try to roll the paper off this top one and I'm gonna let this dry so I do have all dry and uh, now what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna be using Bindex uh, Studio PBO Studio Acrylic Bindex. It's uh, acrylic binder and it's using for mixing with acrylics and also for collages. So this I'm gonna be using between the layers of uh, the colors as a separator. It dries nice and quite fast so I'm gonna put thin layer of this bindex it's something like um, if you will use some acrylic uh, acrylic base paint so with this i'm gonna seal my first layer i think that top it's dry now uh, i've got here just plastic lid i'm gonna be using it for uh, acrylic paints i will be using black and probably some of these brown uh, for for shadows and uh, first I'm gonna add to my little cutting board white painting for that I'm gonna be using dry brush technique and I'm gonna be using this brush with hard hair so I'm gonna apply white color and from the edges So now I'm gonna let it dry. White color is dry and I'm gonna be using this uh, black acrylic. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of the bindex. I will start to add a little bit of kind of like uh, wooden planks so if I will imagine that the wood will be ripped off I think it's too wet And to make it look more like planks, I think my black paint is dry and this is too white. I'm gonna take some different one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this uh, ruler and kind of make for myself a few lines here. <clears throat> Now I'm gonna take this little brush and with that I will try to paint into this. And I'm gonna let it dry again. 
there are visible edges of uh, the paper I glued on that book page so I'm gonna kind of make it invisible now uh, I do have here this crackle accent or crackle paint so I'm gonna use the brush and add a little bit of this crackle paint on these edges And now on this crackle accent, I'm going to apply my mix. It's kind of like uh, slightly ivory, I would say, color. It's not totally white. It's like slightly ivory. So that I'm going to apply on the crackle accent in light coat. And I'm gonna let it dry. So I do have all dry. I do have there here and there crackles, uh, but not too much. <laughs> I did something wrong. So now, uh, now I'm gonna be using these uh, brown paints. I'm gonna add here just a little bit. This is uh, raw sienna, uh, burnt sienna. And with these two, and with a little bit of black, I need to add there just a small amount of water. And we're gonna do shading. And I'm wiping off a little bit of that color here and there. That, oh, just shadows. Now I'm going to make a mix from the black paint and I'm going to add a little bit of uh, splatters here. That I'm going to let it dry like this. Once those splatters are dry, I'm going to give a few more coats of this Bindex, uh, always let the coat dry and apply the new one to make the top as much smooth as I can. So, last few coats of this top uh, Bindex. Uh, in the corners, I'm gonna add these fasteners. They are uh, in the design of screw heads or I think yeah, it's a screw head. So I'm gonna add these to the to the corners and add their black paint, black acrylic paint, and then make shadows with all this painting as well to kind of make it look rusty with that burnt sienna and raw sienna. And this is how the book page cutting plate looks like. I'm gonna use another book page to cover these, so I'm gonna put another new book page here on the background, and then I will sand again the edges to make it looks like it's wooden plate. And that is all for today. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Uh, I hope you will try this cute little uh, Easter decoration, and you will try to create something from your book pages. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.